Christmas carol for the week. Our passage is found in Luke 1, 46 to 47. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. These verses were sung by Mary after the angel Gabriel announced God's plan for Christmas. For our devotion, we will be answering the question, to whom does the Lord perform His mighty deed with His arm? God does His mighty deeds through His, first of all, humble servants, found in verses 6, 14, 8, and 52. Those who fear Him in verse 50, and the hungry in verse 53, and His nation Israel, verses 54 to 55. Those mentioned are considered to be the weak in our society. Most of us think that we are limited and not qualified to serve God in our lowly capacity. But this song called the Magnificat assures us that the true essence of Christmas is for the weak. Let, let us consider one servant of God who most people consider as weak and of no value. The blind poet Francis Jane Cos Crosby, also known as Fanny Crosby, the writer of many Christian hymns that instructed and reminded the church of its privileges, purpose, and blessings because of our Lord Jesus Christ. She was greatly encouraged and patiently instructed in literature and poetry, including the Bible, by her grandmother. Fanny listened and memorized whole chapters and long portions of both Old and New Testament writings. Fanny never saw her blindness as a hindrance in serving God. Instead, she thanked Him for the ways her blindness opened doors for her to serve Him in ways she felt she otherwise couldn't have. The weak has become useful, and God took her weakness, offered to him, and used it for the edification of his church. Like Mary, Fanny's ability to think of herself as a capable servant allowed her to excel in the strengths God has given her. As quoted, Fanny followed God's lead, humbly stewarded her God-given talents, and walked through its open door of opportunity with joy in her heart. Her life is a true example of walking by faith and not by sight. Okay. And this is the famous line in her song, uh, uh, Blessed Assurance. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Let us pray. Father, our sovereign God, we recognize that what we are feeling as burden for this coming Christmas expresses our uh, weakness and doubts and hesitations. But you have meant it to be so. You have sent your Son to help the weak and weary. Make us realize that the weaknesses we are trying to hide and ignore must not be a hindrance to us uh, to savor your goodness expressed in Christmas that we are safe in spite of these weaknesses if we humbly come to you and rejoice in you. Magnify yourself in us in this season of Christmas by rejoicing in you and your Son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.